Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Alice, and welcome to the New Orleans State Palace Theater for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. His adversary. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Right, let's go. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter-punching. There's a straight right hand. Referee gives him the warning for the headbutt. Nice combination by Kid Dynamite. Halfway through this round. Kid Dynamite's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Great work offensively landing that combination by Kid Dynamite. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Commits to the straight right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Kid Dynamite's covered with his blood right now. That cut just opened up something fierce. And, you know, you wonder about the psychological damage or potential damage of that. You know, does that affect him where he gets a little down? Does that affect his opponent where maybe his opponent gets a little reckless? And we come to the end of round number one. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them. He's got to blow on them. He's got to do everything. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Kid Dynamite's in giving us anything to talk about right here, Teddy. He's not moving, he's not boxing, he's not fighting. Well, 75% of this business is mental, and you would love to know mentally what's going on in his mind right now. Not much. And he's able to put his punches together. That's a nice-looking combo. Well, that's the benefit of two and three instead of one. Crashes home with the uppercut. Hits him in the mud. Solid. A non-stop swarming attack puts him down. His opponent feels like he's in a rainstorm. They do the replay. Fuck it, bag it. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? Joe, so this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle.
fundamental work, landing the one-two there. Flush right hand to the body. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Ten seconds remaining in this round. End of the round. List. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. I have no idea what I'm seeing right here, Teddy. The guy's not doing anything. He's just standing there with his opponent opposite him. Oh, Joe, I would beg to differ. You do have an idea what you're seeing. You're seeing a guy right now that looks like he's spitting a bit. One, two jabs up top. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Keep working, bud. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Kid Dynamite's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Overhand right can be so effective. Nice work, great technique. The combo lands. And the round comes to an end. Throw your hands. I need you to string your punches together. We got three. You're fighting in rhythm, okay? Kid Dynamite's power has been the biggest difference in this fight so far, Teddy. As we start round number four and we take a look at your scorecard, side he's up side. two rounds to one. Yeah, because of that knockdown, that was the difference. But it's still close enough for his opponent just using his jab, fundamentals, the things that he has to do to still get back in it. Doing well on the outside. And now you can see him doing some fine work here on the outside of his opponent. You know, and I see a terribly long, difficult night for his opponent because we already know he's going to win on the inside. That's his place. Now he's controlling things outside where it's not supposed to be his place. That's what I want to see. Little head hunting with the left. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Excellent hook to the head by Kid Dynamite. Nowhere close that punch by Kid Dynamite. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Kid Dynamite's now having to deal with a bloody nose, and that can be a real distraction, especially when it comes to your breathing. Nice work with the left hand. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. 
And that does it for this round. Hit Dynamite's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Eddie, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Kid Dynamite. A flush hook scores well for him. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by. And he's looking to tie up. the left hand upstairs uh, tried the hook didn't get it inside inside comes right back at him with a left hand we count down the final moments of this round hit dynamite's defense is it ever good Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Sixth round now underway. Let's see who can really come on here in the second half of this fight. Looking good. Move your feet. To the head he goes with a left hand. And banging away he goes, able to land that power punch. Trying to force his way in that front door, and he got smacked with that door. A well-placed left hand up top. Teddy, this guy's putting on a clinic right now. I mean, his, his accuracy is remarkable. Yeah, a clinic in a healthcare center. He's like a surgeon. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Move your head! Get out to the belt line he goes with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. And our first glimpse of blood from his nose. Back to the body. Unable to score with the hook. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And we come to the end of the round. It's just a brutal display in there right now, Teddy, and it's painted on both guys' face. And the one with the advantage, he's going to sound funny in this kind of brutal war that we're watching here, but the guy who lays back a little bit now lets the other guy take the chances and takes advantage of those chances. Now, under these kind of conditions where you can barely see what's coming, believe it or not, the guy that gives in that way, that's smart that way, he's going to have the advantage.
Not an accurate hook at all. Finish with the hook. Focus. Kid Dynamite's defense is paying off. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You never suppose it's... Did you see that? Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. <laughs> He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And that's the end of round seven. Looking good. He's tied. Look at him. I need to see more competitions, okay? You go. Whenever he misses, go! Nice work. Nice work. Keep it up. This guy's never felt to be doing like this. Keep the pressure up. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we start this eighth round. And I think this tells pretty much the story. Yeah, he's got a slight lead. However, there have been those moments where you see a defensive flaw. Yeah, the other guy's coming on fast. The defensive flaw is that he covers up too much. He blocks too many punches. And when you're blocking too many punches, while the guy puts punches together, some are going to get through. Some are getting through. One, two. One, two. Solid hook. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Kid Dynamite's having a field day on the inside, putting a lot into that uppercut. Well, he's smart. He's, you know, part of being an effective good fighter is understanding what punch to choose from your arsenal. He's picking the right punch at the right time. Inside, the opening is there for that uppercut. Good-looking two-punch combination there. And there he is, scoring with the right hand. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Kid Dynamite showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. Move your head. Close the gap. Good right hand. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Rushing uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke. 
right from the beginning. Okay, now look, it was a good round, but he's standing right there with you, okay? All right, this round, I want you to move. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Gets rid of that body shot. Kid Dynamite's got a real problem on his hands now, Teddy. I think the cut is actually worsening around his eye. He has to do a better job of watching out for that. Has to protect that eye. Yeah, what he has to do now is give his corner man, his cut man, a chance for his work to be accomplished. In other words, there's been coagulants, chemicals put into that eye. Now the fighter has to move a little bit, be elusive, and allow those chemicals, those medicines to work. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. One, two, one, two. Halfway good through job. the ninth round. Very good work right there. The power shot after blocking his opponent's effort. There he is zoning in, the old one, two. Precision work with the left hand by Kid Dynamite. Crafty counter punching. Oh boy, big shot up top. Kid Dynamite's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Keep working the jab. Move you see head. what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Boxing 101, jab followed by the straight. You're not focusing. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. Here it is, the final round of what has been a closely contested battle. Good job protecting himself. Uppercut! Uppercut! Use the ring! Good looking uppercut that time. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Hit Dynamite smashed by a hook. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Comes right back at him with a left hand. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Halfway through this 10th and final round. Blocks that punch. He has found his groove with his right hand. That is a strong uppercut there. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Kid Dynamite's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. The judges have put down their scores as we come to the end of a very exciting back-and-forth fight. Let's send it up to the ring announcer to hear which way it goes.